This is Pete Johnson from Cyphos Technologies, and today we're going to demonstrate the 5U Analyzer, and in particular, the fully automated 5 Performance Test Suite for testing 10100-1000 Base-T Ethernet interfaces. Over the next 5 minutes, I will show you how easy and how cost-effective it is to perform comprehensive physical layer analyses of both transmitter and receiver performance characteristics on every port of a 24-port gigabit Ethernet switch. That's equivalent to 96 gigabit Ethernet transmission pairs parametrically analyzed to assess interoperability and physical layer integrity across all possible Ethernet connection and link environments. Let's start by reviewing why this testing is important. Our first objective is to assure high confidence of 10100-1000 base T interface interoperability over all possible connection environments. Ordinary packet flow testing cannot provide this assurance, while traditional physical layer test methods are prohibitively expensive and impractical. Secondly, we hope to identify design or manufacturing defects that would subtly or overtly degrade 10100-1000 base T interface performance. Again, packet flow testing does not provide such insight, and traditional physical layer tests tend to overlook receiver testing altogether. Now let's consider who will benefit from these objectives. Product design engineers are tasked with selecting components and design interfaces that must operate over a very wide range of conditions described throughout IEEE 802.3 specifications. Often, the 10100-1000 Base-T interface is just an ancillary aspect of an overall design and may be outside the design engineer's core expertise. Quality assurance professionals are typically tasked with assessing the full range of performance across a statistical population of products. Again, high expertise in IEEE 802.3 physical layer specifications may not be a core competency. Production engineers and technicians require tools to evaluate ongoing design revisions, component changes, finished product quality, line rejects, and field returns. Service technicians are typically the first ones to experience real-world problems, many of which are solved through inefficient trial and error approaches. Test laboratories may also get involved with networking interface operations and specification conformance. The PVA3000 here is configured with the maximum 24 test ports. The PVA3000 can be configured with 1 to 12 test blades, each with two independent test ports. The PVA3000 is also available as a compact 5U analyzer that serves as a portable desktop instrument. I've asked my assistant, Becky, to help out with this demonstration. Becky will be connecting the 5U Analyzer test cables to the Gigabit Ethernet switch and then initiating the automated test sequence. Cyphos provides high performance test cables with the PVA3000. Each PVA3000 test port is calibrated locally by simply connecting the test cable assigned to each test port to the adjacent PVA3000 test port, then running the automated calibration sequence. This assures that the physical layer measurements such as power spectral distortion, return loss, and crosstalk are not impacted by the effects of a patch cable connection to the Ethernet port under test. Becky is now opening PVA Interactive software on our host PC. PVA 3000 software is supported on all versions of Microsoft Windows and Linux PCs as well. PVA Interactive is an intuitive graphical user interface software for the PVA 3000. The PVA3000 also includes PowerShell PSA, a Tickle TK-based automated script development environment for the 5U Analyzer. Becky will now walk us through what she is doing on the computer. I'm opening PVA Interactive and connecting to the PVA3000 instrument. I'll do this by selecting the proper IP address, then simply pressing Connect. First, I'm going to briefly survey the calibrations available for this instrument. These calibrations are essential to several measurements performed during testing. Note that the date of each calibration is shown. This is the same menu that I would use to sequence new calibrations. I'm now opening the Phi Test Suite menu to configure and initiate the test sequence across all 24 ports of the device under test. I'll run all of the Phi tests on all of the 24 test ports. 
The receiver test measurement method will be the link monitor, and the test data will route to the standard Excel spreadsheet report. I'll also specify the DUT type as My24 port DUT for reporting purposes. And since the DUT's ports are connected sequentially from port 1 to port 24, I'll enter port 1 as the first port reported. Once I've selected these settings, I'll just press Sequence Test. The testing as configured will take about 30 minutes per port to complete, and the test report will automatically pop up upon completion of the sequence. As the testing sequences, the sequencer status is displayed in the menu. This same sequence could also be run from PowerShell PSA software using a single PVA sequence command. While our tests are running, let's go over important features of the FiveU Analyzer and the Five Performance Test Suite from Cyphos Technologies. The FiveU Analyzer produces true parametric physical layer measurements. This means that testing will address physical layer performance, assess interoperability robustness, and will localize defects. Traditional packet flow testing falls short in all of these objectives. The 5U Analyzer is true plug and play with each test port directly interfacing the device under test through RJ45 test cables and without the need for adaptive fixtures or silicon based test modes. The 5U Analyzer will test any 10100-1000 port anywhere, anytime. With the Five Performance Test Suite, 10 100 1000 physical layer testing is truly automated to the extent that all testing of all pairs on multiple ports can be accomplished with a single button press. Automatic pop up spreadsheet reports graphically depict physical layer performance with color coded assessments ranging from excellent to marginal to failing. Users do not need expertise in 802.3 specifications or test methods. Especially unique is the degree and efficiency of Ethernet port receiver defect coverage offered by the 5U Analyzer. Each 5U Analyzer test port combines precise, versatile link impairments with link monitoring or packet flow measurements to rapidly evaluate receiver performance. The 5 Performance Test Suite and the 5U Analyzer can be teamed with the PowerSync Analyzer from Cyphos Technologies to perform fully automated analyses of DC unbalanced susceptibility in power sourcing Ethernet ports. This critical performance characteristic is often overlooked owing to the challenging measurement requirements. So how can you benefit from the 5 Performance Test Suite and the 5U Analyzer? First, you can assure quality and build confidence that your 10100-1000 base T interfaces are able to function normally across all usage environments and conditions. Testing is easily performed with a minimal learning curve and minimal expertise with 802.3 specifications. Finally, you save the cost and expertise development inherent in more traditional methods of physical layer testing. Getting back to our automated test sequence, we elected to run all the PHY tests on every port of our 24-port gigabit switch. This sequence will typically consume about 30 minutes per port tested. When the test report opens, all 24 ports of PHY test data will be automatically transferred into the standard PHY performance test report spreadsheet. This powerful report format will present test data both in tabular and graphical forms and it will provide limit checking and associated annotations using cell coloring. A worksheet page is produced for each port tested. Parameters are generally assessed into one of three categories. Excellent with blue shading, marginal with tan colored shading, and defective with light red shading. The standard Excel spreadsheet report also synthesizes some familiar and important IEEE 802.3 parameters including peak-to-peak -peak voltage, rise-fall time estimations, mask fit estimations, and droop estimations. The result one page presents test results from port one of the DUT. Each page includes a header indicating instrument address, test port utilized, time and date, and DUT description if entered. The test results are divided into basic capabilities, transmitter and interface tests, and receiver tests. Basic capability tests examine the content received and the functional integrity of auto-negotiated linkups. 
The port under test is exposed to a number of constrained auto negotiations where link up response, link stability, and physical link up times are measured. Link up times are resolved to 100 milliseconds. Both link stability and physical link times can provide insight into any problems related to auto negotiation. Transmitter and interface tests include wideband power per pair, SNR per pair, low band power spectral distortion per pair, wideband power spectral distortion per pair, 1000 base T pair time skew, wideband return loss per pair, and wideband crosstalk per pair group. Each of these measurements are further explained in the PVA3000 data sheet and the 5U Analyzer overview video, both accessible from the CIFOS website. Also shown in this report are estimations of peak-to-peak -peak voltage, pulse droop, rise-fall time, and pulse mask fits for each transmission pair. Receiver tests include link integrity and or packet flow measurements performed in conjunction with precisely controlled physical impairments at 10 base T, 100 base TX, and 1000 base T. Impairments include combinations of IEEE 802.3 worst case insertion loss, ingress alien crosstalk levels, timing offsets, and symbol jitter levels. Link integrity can be performed on any standalone Ethernet port, while packet flow may offer better performance granularity when testing Ethernet switches. This particular DUT has some problems with signal transmission in its upper bank of eight ports. Moving to the result 17 page, we see the test results from DUT port number 17. Wideband power spectral distortion indicates a sharp drop in transmission power above 60 MHz. This would be expected if the slew rate were too slow and the pulse mask for the 1000 base T was marginal. We also notice that there is a problem with wideband return loss in pairs 1 and 3 particularly. These symptoms point to issues that in all likelihood packet flow testing would never have de detected. We now turn to result 3 page and look at re a receiver test result for DUT port number 3 operating under impairment in 1000 base T slave timing mode. Here the link monitor is detecting instability at the DUT receiver given worst case insertion loss combined with 100 ppm timing offset and alien crosstalk applied at a level just above the IEEE 802.3 allowance. We can discern that the PVA test port operated at about 24 dB SNR during this impairment condition, which suggests that the instability was not in any way related to the PVA test port. The standard test report is a read-only Excel spreadsheet and should be saved to an appropriate location in order to preserve the test data. Once Becky completes this, the testing task is done. You should observe that the total labor effort here was minimal yet the insights developed into 10100-1000 base T interface performance are very significant. Now that we have completed testing of a 24-port gigabit Ethernet switch using the 5U Analyzer and the 5 Performance Test Suite, I hope you will agree with me that testing is considerably more insightful than a typical packet loss or link verification test, Yet the effort to collect this information was minimal and did not require a high level of expertise with the IEEE 802.3 specifications. You should also have noticed that no special configuration or setup of the device under test was required in order to complete this testing. It's been a pleasure to demonstrate the 5U Analyzer in the fully automated 5 Performance Test Suite. You can contact CIFOS directly using the www.cyphos.com website, or you can contact a local CIFOS distributor based on your location. Those distributors are identified on the CIFOS website. Thank you very much for your attention, and CIFOS Technologies looks forward to helping you with your Ethernet testing challenges.